What's up everybody, AC Professor here. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the difference between single and uh, dual run capacitors. Many years ago it was discovered that if capacitor is added to the electric field supplying voltage to a motor or in that case a compressor, that device starts a lot more easier and run more efficiently. Here you see the improvement of adding a capacitor. And uh, here we can see a single capacitor and if you open it, we're going to see actually a single capacitor connected with two wires to each side. In a condenser was housed two different motors that require a capacitor, the fan motor and the compressor. So the manufacturer put two of them together and sandwiched them in one housing so they can provide capacitance for both the motor and the compressor. In the dual capacitor, what we see is the three terminals in the top and if you open it we're going to see actually two single capacitors connected. They're going to have the common terminal and each one is going to have the site for the fan or for the compressor. Stick around and I'll explain you can we substitute a single capacitor for dual or vice versa. The common terminal is connected to a contactor via the C terminal, C, and uh, the fan is getting is connected to the fan connector and the compressor is connected to the herm, hermetic compressor. Uh, here we got the red wire, actually it's coming uh, from the contactor, that's the common, and then we got the terminal for the compressor, herm, that's the yellow wire. And then we got the brown one, uh, the brown one actually, that's for the fan motor. What's the reason for multiple tips on the, every terminal? For example, the like the four for the common and three for the herm and two for the fan. Uh, that is if you want to add some additional. If you don't have, uh, in our example, we have a, a 45 plus five. For example, if you want to do a 55 plus 5, we can add additional 10 uh, microfarad to the system. Uh, just add them to one leg going to the common and the second one going to the herm. And we got the 5 for the fan still, but we're going to have 45 plus 10, 55 toward the compressor and that's actually what the most technicians do if you need a capacitor that's not easy to find for example uh, anything with uh, 7.5 it's a little bit more difficult to find and then if you have a 45 plus 10 or 60 plus 10 or 80 plus 10 it's almost impossible to find and you can make one like that so that's uh, how actually uh, we connect the two single capacitors to be used in a condenser. Uh, the voltage comes from the contactor and goes to one of them. It doesn't matter to which one it goes directly. And then we use the jumper wire between one of the terminal and the second terminal. You want to use something like a jumper wire between the for that connector. You want to use something same design. It doesn't matter how you put it, if it's uh, this way or the other. Every single capacitor have only two leads. So either way, you'll be just fine. Uh, you can use it. So you connect to one of them and use the jumper wire to the second one. Then you connect the, the second lead toward the fan or vice versa toward the compressor. And the common wire coming from the contactor it's going to the one side of the one of the capacitor. Then it's we got a jumper wire. The white wire is actually jumping, so that one is common side two. Uh, from the other side of the compressor capacitor, it's connected the wire to the compressor, and. 
from the other side of the fan capacitor it's connecting the fan the easy way to make bracket is uh, if I use like a uh, metal tie and just mold it put the capacitor and just mold it to get the shape you can find it uh, all like that uh, any hardware store that is uh, pretty much what we're going to use for a bracket I'm going to show you a trick on uh, that particular case for example we got a old capacitor and uh, you not be able to read which one is common and which one is a compressor herm or which one is going to be the fan side and it's a easy way to find out without even looking at the numbers uh, every time the common is going to have four uh, plugs on the top one two three four so we know that one is the common uh, the herm the herm the compressor is always going to have three one two three so that is the herm and the fan is going to have either one or two that's 99% uh, of the cases so even you look in the angle you cannot uh, you can tell right away that's the common that's the compressor and the fan so it doesn't matter which way it's spin you can tell right away common fan compressor hit that like button if you like this video subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video